Hi, my name is Daniel Dan J, and I study medicine at the University of Exeter Medical School. I'm currently in my third year and I'll be going into my fourth year in September. So I decided to study medicine at the end of year 11, which is pretty late compared to some people who decide when they're like five years old or something like that, but it was still all fine for me. All I had to do was just change a few of my A-levels that I wanted to do. And in terms of A-levels, I did maths, media studies, biology, chemistry, and graphics at AS. And now I'm here studying at the University of Exeter. So the University of Exeter is a campus-based university and medicine is taught on the St. Luke's campus or at the Knowledge Spa in Truro. So there are many sites throughout St. Luke's where people usually hang. So first of all, we have North Cloisters, which is the main lecture hall where most lectures occur. And right in the middle of St. Luke's is the quad where essentially during the summertime, some people just bring a football or a frisbee and play that. And also they play volleyball there as well. Between lectures and other times, there's Cross Keys, which is basically a restaurant and also a place for you to revise, hang out with friends, just have a chat between those lectures. There is also a main library on the St. Luke's campus if you're more of a library of vision type person and you like that sort of quiet vibe when you revise. In that same sort of frame of mind, there's a place called Giraffe House, which is also good for revision. There's silent study areas and also group working spaces in there. And another main location on the St. Louis campus is the LSRC rooms, which stands for Life Sciences Resource Center. And essentially that's where the main bulk of anatomy and physiology are taught outside of lectures. So then moving on across the road is the old heavy tree hospital and this is where clinical skills is taught so a new clinical skills block was just recently built and essentially it has all the things you need there for your clinical skills learning and your revision as well there is also a gym and a swimming pool on the st luke's campus which you can pay for a membership for as well these are some great places great facilities and by paying for a membership on the St. Luke's campus, you can get access to the bigger gym on the main Streatham campus. So medicine is based on the St. Luke's campus, but the Streatham campus is easily accessible. It's about a 20 to 30 minute walk away from the St. Luke's campus. And there's a few things like the St. Luke's campus. So there's the library and then the Students Guild is found there as well. There are a few restaurants on the campus as well there and a massive library in the forum. At Exeter, half the cohort goes to Truro during their time and now most people have to go to Truro in one of their years from second year onwards. In Truro, the main building is the Knowledge Spa, which is a library. It has a clinical skills centre and also an LSRC as well to study in and it's just an all-round building in that respect. It's also a place where lectures can occur. Um, it's not really known right now how lectures will run for second years next year as the first year for second years coming was this last year. And of course, we don't know what could have happened during this pandemic. So the main teaching hospitals at Exeter are the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital and the Royal Cornwall Hospital. At the Royal Devon and Exeter, it's a bigger hospital and there is an academic building which has its own clinical skills centre called the RILD and it also has its own library and there are lecture halls there for when there might be special speakers that are coming to the hospital so you can go check them out. In Truro, the Royal Cornwall Hospital is a great place to learn and it's easy to get around, very well signposted. So in terms of accommodation, the main places people live are Rowancroft. So there are three different buildings depending on price ranges and what features you want. So the main Rowancroft building is the most expensive, but you get an ensuite bathroom and you get all that fancy stuff in your room. The other ones are Rowancroft Court and Rowancroft Muse, and they're just similar to Rowancroft, but it's shared bathrooms and they're all about a five to 10 minute walk away from the St. Luke's campus. Two other very popular accommodations close to each other are James Own Court and Printworks. Printworks is at a higher price point, but you get all the fanciness, all the en suites, same with James Own Court. It's just James Own Court looks a little more dated, but all the same. I lived at James Own Court in first year and I thought it was a great place to live.
There are also other places of accommodation dotted around Exeter, but these three are the closest to the St. Luke's campus. James Owen Court and Printworks are about a 10 to 15 minute walk away from the campus. Everything else slowly gets longer and longer walk away. I know a few people who lived in the other accommodations and they said it was just a trek to get to campus every day, but if you're committed to just hop on a bus or walk that 30 minutes and then just stay at campus all day, then there are some good places out there. In Truro, a lot of students live in private housing or they live at the Sanctuary, which is a private student accommodation and it's just a whole load of blocks. It's like halls and it's easy to apply to, but all the information you need for that will be given to you when you get to the medical school. So onto a day in my life. So currently I'm in third year, so it's very clinical based. So we have placement four out of five days a week and then one day a week there's academic day. In third year, the academic day is Monday. In fourth year, it's Friday. And in fifth year, it's the half day on Wednesday. In first and second year, however, the teaching style is based around PBL. So you get a case and you discuss it with a group of around eight to 10 people. And then you create questions based on that case and you come back after the next week and the week after that in three week blocks to discuss your cases. Things are also taught through LSRC as I mentioned before and lectures as well on Wednesdays and Fridays in first and second year. It's about two hours on Wednesdays and two hours on Fridays. In third year and up, lectures are not so common, maybe once every three or four weeks, but they're much more generalized, less about medical knowledge that you'll be tested on, more about the medical knowledge you'll need for careers. So as I mentioned before, there are group tutorials, which is the LSRC. You learn anatomy and you learn physiology as well in a sort of integrated system. And it's based around the systems of the body in first year. And then second year just builds upon that again. Third year learning is split into surgery, medicine and specialties. And fourth year is split into acute medicine, chronic medicine and oncology. In third year, PBL is replaced with another group session called Communities of Practice. And essentially you're in the same sort of size groups. So maybe eight to 12 people and you get a case and you each do about 10 questions split between your group every time. And then at the end of the three week blocks, you end up doing a group presentation to three other groups who are in your rotation at that time. So for the four days a week of clinical placement, some days you can have placement with just three days, some days it can be a full four, and essentially it works out to be around 10 to 12 hours a week on placement. And while you're on placement, you see a whole load of things and you have to find a patient and just take a case history from them and present it at the end of the week to a consultant as part of a formative assessment. So it's just to build upon your knowledge in third year. In first and second year, clinical placements also do occur and they occur round about every three or four weeks and you have eight in total during the year. These placements in first and second year are half GP placements and half community placements. So that could be in hospitals, it could be in special needs schools or chiropractors, things like that. So a wide range of things to see in your first two years. So the main societies at Exeter Medical School are the MedSoc, which is more of a social society just to get to know some people through medicine. And they do a good load of socials, sports things as well. So with regards to sports, there's touch rugby, rugby, football, and hockey. There's also netball as well, just to name a few. And every year, pandemic permitting, there's a MedSoc sports day as well. There's also another medical society called EUMS or Exeter Undergraduate Medicine Society and they do a lot of teaching sessions for OSCEs and for exams as well. There's also a wide range of societies based on specific specialties in medicine and essentially whatever you're interested in there is probably a society for you and if there isn't you can easily find around 20 people and start the society yourself and get some good experience running a society. You're also able to run for society starting from second year and there are a lot of places to be had during your time. So if you want to do it, you definitely can. 
There's a wider range of societies available to you as well, which are based on the Streatham campus, based on whatever you're interested in. So more sports societies, faith-based, music, languages, culture, all of that good stuff, it will all be there on the Streatham campus. And for social activities, there is a lot to do. So there's obviously the classics of going to the gym or going out with friends uh, during the week. That is a popular one during the first few years of medicine. And then obviously the weekends are still very much free during third, fourth and fifth year. And people also like to go to the beaches surrounding Exeter or in Truro. There's also two cinemas in Exeter itself, one in Truro, and a whole load of other great things to keep you occupied outside of medicine. So when you're applying, why not consider Exeter Medical School? So thank you for watching this video. I'm Daniel or Dan J. You can check me out on YouTube at Dan J or on Instagram. My socials are on the screen now. And make sure you check out Medic Launch on more social platforms. Their links are on the screen as well.